Uh, so you can look at it sectorally and kind of think what are the different disciplines. Um, so we could look at like museums and theaters and uh, festivals or we could look at different kinds of practices. So um, talking about like managing our practices or uh, publish publishing um, different things uh, around whatever people define as arts and culture. So um, we just right now in one of my assignments I had a student ask me whether or not Dedmonton would qualify as an arts and cultural event and if you don't know Dedmonton is um, a haunted house basically and I think it does because it's actors and uh, they're you know they're embodying zombies or I've never actually been so I'm not sure what they're doing but <laughs> they're enacting a haunted house so it's kind of a, a performance uh, event. I chose the Arts and Culture Management program as it allowed me to uh, study from a distance and part-time while working professionally. It kind of provided me with the educational uh, opportunity that I was looking for and the flexibility that I was hoping to have in terms of continuing my education. With an arts and management background, or sorry, arts and cultural management background, can go into a wide variety of careers. Um, so we could, again, uh, like my last answer, we could look at uh, disciplinary. So they can work in different kinds of organizations, like theaters and museums, historic sites, um, publishing houses, maybe, or they could work on different kinds of practices um, so they can work at maybe um, learning to sell their own arts practices and that would be a kind of arts and cultural management. One of the strengths of McEwen's program I believe is the ability to kind of cater some of the projects towards your uh, personal interests. There's some flexibility in the classes where often you'll have a term project that uh, revolves around a certain uh, subject that you're learning and by doing this project you're allowed to go into the industry to make connections with professional theaters where you are living and kind of engage in projects with uh, partner organizations which allows you to connect with organizations you otherwise wouldn't have had the chance to connect with while applying that directly towards your studies so the practical component of some of those projects I find uh, to be really, really interesting, engaging, and important. If you're looking for a career in arts and cultural management, a program like this is going to help you um, develop some of the skills that you need, but more important than just developing skills, it's going to um, introduce you to uh, different people, different organizations, different information uh, that you'll then be able to go back and access in the future. So for example, um, learning different questions you can ask and learning where to find the information is a core part of a lot of the courses and when you're in the future working on an event or working on a particular project, um, having those skills is going to be important. I would recommend that people reach out to alumni of the program to see what their experience was while attending McEwen, and I would also recommend getting in contact with the academic advisors. They're super helpful, they will let you know if any of your credits that you may have already obtained can transfer over, and they'll set you up on a course that makes the most amount of sense for you, and they'll provide some great insight into how you should structure your learning at McEwen. an arts and cultural management program but also just going to university or college or higher education more generally I think students should have an open mind they should be ready to be wrong uh, and ready to be wrong a lot <laughs> and it, that's something as a teacher that I also bring to discussions is I'm learning from my students and I'm expecting them to learn from each other and to learn from me and I think that you get a lot more out of the course uh, when you present your opinions you present what you think about something but then you're open to the fact that your thinking isn't done yet and that you still have a lot more to learn and maybe the the things your colleagues are saying or your professor is saying could um, kind of provide a more complete picture.